answer is correct. I'm just saying. I was right. Everybody knows this, right? But you know, it would be it would be it would be sweet to have him, you know, realize that himself. Maybe some cool outfits. I don't know. Hi. Hi, I'm Amanda. By the way, I have the same coffee order. And nice. Second, do you wish you? As him, you have the same coffee order. order as him. One coffee for me, zero for you. Okay. <laughs> Well, it wasn't really up to me. Um, <laughs> um, hey, could you have impregnated my mother earlier? Sure. There you go. Um, yeah, listen, it would have been great, but uh, you know, I, I really feel like Jack's kind of purpose was to like help the show, you know, get to the finish line, so to speak. And I think my character was uh, helpful for all, everybody else, kind of fulfilling their destiny in a sense. So I think. I'm very thankful for that and what Jack got to show, you know, for the Winchesters and, and for Castiel. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Tepid applause. Yeah. Tepid response. Woo! Tepid applause. <laughs> Hi. So this question uh, really just applies to Alex. But obviously, Jack, by the end of the series, was only like three years old. So like, I was wondering what kind of challenges you faced when acting, because, you know, your the mindset is not of a three-year-old. And neither Wait, that's that. debatable. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get too ahead of yourself there. Um. And obviously, like, Jack is not exactly in the mind of a three-year-old, but, like, he's only going to know so much. So, like, just, like, what kind of challenges were you facing and, like, you know, like, something that was like, oh, maybe he shouldn't actually have known that? Well, I mean, for me, it was kind of easy. The, the real challenge for me is pretending to be competent in real life. Um, whereas the show, they're like, hey, we need you to dumb it down a little. I was like, oh, don't worry. Uh, don't worry, I got this. Um, no, I definitely was trying to... I was trying to make things very simple for him. I wanted everything to be new for me every time. So... I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad Mark liked that response. Um, yeah, I was trying to be simple and sweet. All right, all right. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> Are you okay? No. Okay. It's not gonna be funny to anybody. <laughs> oh no. I mean, she's no, but when she's like, since you're obviously not a three-year-old, I'm thinking all actors are three years old. Yeah. Yeah. That see, it's not as funny to you, but, but it is to me because I know it. <sighs> I wanted him to be Don't naive and sweet, and you know, uh, yeah, yeah, serious answer. I think you had that down. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Next time, ask a Lucifer question. Yeah. Hi, my name is Kara. Um, who is an actor that you dream of working with that you haven't worked with before? <laughs> What? It's hard to hear because of the. Because I have ADD. <laughs> Who is an actor that you haven't worked with before that you would want to work with? Like... Are you Are you asking both of us? Yeah, both. Okay, go ahead. Alex, you go first. Um, I'm a huge fan of Mad Men, so anybody in that cast, but specifically for me, John Hamm, I thought would be really cool to work with. Uh, I've worked with him. I know. He's on awesome. a film called Beirut. He's awesome. <laughs> Yeah. 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 What about? I mean, Elizabeth Moss too. I mean, she's amazing. She yeah. The, Put she, me on The Handmaid's Tale, but like, as one of the good guys, you know. I don't want to be doing the weird shit, you know. But I think she was. I think she was the, the weird shit. I, I, it's not cool, man. It's not cool. I think she was the hero of, of Mad Men. I think she was the most interesting character. Peggy was incredible. Yeah. She was. Peggy was awesome. Um, yeah, 
It's a great choice. God, there's so many good actors out there. Who I just saw Sam Rockwell. That would be amazing. Oh my god, I'd love to work with Have Sam Have you guys Rockwell. seen Galaxy Quest? Yeah. 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 He's so on the good. Plane. He's so good in that. He's I want good. Galaxy Quest 2. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Why not? Uh, I don't, well... Yeah. Well, you know what they say. If you do something well, do it continuously well until it fails. <laughs> I think it might fail after, you know... Galaxy Quest 4. No. Three. Two, I think 2, two. would fail. I don't think 2 would no. be as good. Well, damn. Okay. So, so many great people in that. Um, yeah, Sam Rockwell is somebody I would love to work with. He's Meisner too, which is which is my background, um, and uh, I'd love to work with somebody who comes from that same same place. Woody Harrelson too. I'd sort of love to work with him. I saw him live on stage do an do Edward Albee play called Zoo Story. Does anybody know the Zoo Story? Okay, a couple people. Out I've there. heard of the movie starring Matt Damon called We Bought a Zoo. No, different. <laughs> Very different. But Woody Harrelson. Not the same. No, not okay. the same. Not the same. Woody Harrelson, Woody Harrelson played one of the parts. He was very good at it. Um, little theater in Los Angeles. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. Uh, Emma Stone, I love Emma Stone's work. Andrew Garfield, oh my god, I love that guy. I'd love to work with him. Did you see Tick, Tick, Boom? Wow! He? he was brilliant. Oh, I love him. So, um, yeah, there's just, just tons. And the old school guys, too. Who wouldn't want to work with Joe Pesci or De Niro or Pacino, for Christ's sake. Love you. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh. Yeah. I'm trying to guess the average age here, and with the lack of ooh ah reference, I'm guessing like 16, 17? <laughs> what up, Gen X? Gen Z? Gen Z? Gen Z! So how many, people, zombie. how many people here have seen Scent of a Woman? That should be a reference, right? I got it. Hello! Oh, hello. I have to say, first to start off with, I love both of you, and Mo, your um, acting in Being Human was underrated, and people should watch that show. Thank yes. you. And um, I'm going to change up my question a bit. If you had to pick your favorite Star Wars character from Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker, or Darth Maul, who would you pick? Me? Or both of us? Oh, I'm an Obi-Wan guy. Well, actually, well, but those are the only choices I have? Well, can I have Yoda? No love for Jar Jar Binks. No, no, I want, I want Yoda. <laughs> Fine, we no. have two Jedi and two Sith. So Anakin, Obi-Wan, Darth Maul. Obi-Wan. Or, um, Starkiller from the Four Star Star Games. Jar Jar Binks. I'm, I'm, I'm totally, right, all I heard was blah, 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 because I'm totally out of the loop in Star Wars, but I, I would go for Obi-Wan from, from what I do know. I'd go with probably Anakin. He seems very tormented, you know? Got a lot of feelings. Uh, yeah, I feel like that'd be a really fun part to play. Except for he has some of maybe the corniest lines ever. Yeah. It's like, it's like, oh, it's a feeling of sand. Remember this? The feeling of sand? He's like, he's like, he's like, I don't like sand. It's hard and it's coarse. And you're like, you're like, who wrote this? But Anakin, I think Anakin would be a super fun part. And then you get to be, you know, you get to be Vader after that, that'd be awesome. But Darth Maul is definitely underrated. Super underrated. So is Jar Jar Binks, correct? <laughs> I hear you guys, you love Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar Binks. Hi. Hi. Uh, so the show Supernatural has a lot of urban legends. So growing up, did you have any urban legends that were like local to you and were you afraid of them? I feel like we were, wow, I was going to say, were we afraid of more things in the 90s or less? Now you have the internet and you have things like Slender Man and you're like, wow, that's going to not help me sleep. <laughs> Did you have any urban legends? Plus, you know, since Blair Witch Project, horror movies started coming out where like, this is a true story, you know, and found footage. And you know, people really think for a while that what they're seeing is, is reality. So um, we didn't have anything like that. When I was growing up, I, I don't. We didn't have any urban legends in Van Nuys, California. No, no. Uh, we, we didn't need any. <laughs> yeah, you're like we were living it. It was things. a horror show <laughs> from moment one. No. Did, did you have like a crazy urban legend growing up? Like, don't go down that street because the so and so lives there, or what? Um. Yeah. My grandfather always told us one about the lake where we had a camp. Um. When there was a. Headless I feel like guy. I've seen this movie. <laughs> Wait. There was a what? There was a guy who went into like the, the little bog 
and lost his head, and now he searches the whole lake for his head. Your dad said this to his my grandfather. Gran my grandfather. Gran your grandfather. <laughs> He tells you that, and he's like, "All right, good night. I love you." I just want to tell you. I just want to tell you something, sweetheart. You know that lake you go to? There's you know a that guy, lake you love to swim in. Yeah, that you swim in, especially at night. There's a guy who went there and lost his head. At night, he likes to look for it. Have fun. Like, thanks, Grandpa. Thanks, Gramps. Oh, while well, he while well, you were there too. Yeah. Oh. I love, I, love, I love your grandfather. That's exactly what I would do. A little bit of a shit server, right? Yeah. You may think this is a really beautiful spot, but let me tell you what happened here. 15 years ago. And the kids are like, who? All right, good. Have fun. Go, go, go. Why don't you want to swim? Weird, because I might get my head chopped off. Hi. Hi. Um, my question is, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> If your characters could interact with any other characters on the show, who would it be and why? I never, I never got to work with Mark Shepard. I feel like that would be Crowley and Jack would probably have some fun interactions. Yeah, well, how did that not happen? Well, I wasn't alive then because you didn't. Uh, meet because me he yet. died. He died in the alternate universe. You weren't there yet. No, no you, I, was, you, I wasn't around. Wait, what, well, you were born and it caused the rift, and that's what... It's really fun uh, when your father blamed you for not being born yet. <laughs> it's kind of like, wait, wait, where were you? I'm like, uh, I was on you, no? Yeah, I forgot that he... I, well, he died at your, around your birth, basically, so you... you I don't know, know I wasn't experience. there. Well, you should have been, is what I'm saying. Yeah, that would have been... You're a Nephilim, you can do anything. Apparently not be born. Uh, that would, I feel like, would have been really fun. Plus, I could, you know, hear the fun tenor. Fuck. You know? Would have been great. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, maybe I would have loved to uh, interact with Megatron. Megatron? 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 Megatron. Megatron. Like, I knew, what it, I knew what it was, I swear. I thought that was a Transformer. Booker. Yeah, uh, me Meta, Mega, Mega, Meta, Metatron. Ah, it's our stagehand. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, kind sir. This is Shepard's bit. He doesn't. This is what happens he when you're a famous announced. actor. He will not be announced. No, he just comes out. Nobody ruins an entrance like Mark Shepard. Yeah. Uh, New Jersey. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, New Jersey. Uh, Please give it up one more time. Thank you.